Hi there, ready to install your Zern 975XL2 backflow preventer? Great, I'll go through the steps and throw in a few tips to save you some time and labor along the way. But first, a few notes. Installation of backflow preventers must only be performed by qualified licensed personnel. The installer should be sure that the proper backflow preventer has been selected for the particular installation. Damage to the assembly could result wherever water hammer and or water thermal expansion could create excessive line pressure. Where this could occur, shock arresters and or pressure relief valves should be installed downstream of the assembly. You'll need the following tools to complete this installation. If you're installing your 975XL2 in a building, you'll need to provide a suitable drain arrangement to drain off spillage from the pressure relief valve and prevent water damage to the property. Provide an air gap between the relief valve and the drain piping to prevent a cross connection. The air gap should be at least two times the pipe diameter and never less than one inch. Never attach drain piping directly to the relief valve's vent port. An appropriate air gap must be used. A 975XL2 may be installed outdoors, but only if it's protected against freezing conditions. Exposure to freezing conditions will result in improper function or damage to the assembly. Indoor installation is preferred in areas that are subject to freezing conditions. If installation is in a pit or a vault, contact Zern Customer Care for information on proper installation. Before installing a 975XL2 backflow preventer, flush the line thoroughly to remove all debris, chips, and other foreign matter. If required, a strainer should be placed upstream of the backflow preventer. Do not use a strainer in seldom used emergency water lines, such as fire lines. Your 975XL2 must be installed in a horizontal position. and the relief valve's vent port must be pointing downward. Installing a union, like Zern's DUXL dielectric union, will aid in installing piping on the downstream side of the assembly. Provide adequate space around the installed unit so that the test cocks will be accessible for testing and servicing. Install the valve at least 12 inches above the surrounding floor level. For access purposes, the valve should be a maximum of 30 inches above the surrounding floor. Valves may be installed higher in some cases, but must remain somehow accessible for regular testing and servicing. Always consult local codes for installation methods, approvals, and guidance. Placing the assembly in service. Start with both shutoff valves in the closed position. Slowly and slightly open the inlet shutoff valve until the backflow preventer is completely pressurized, then open the valve the rest of the way. A brief discharge from the relief valve may occur while the assembly is pressurizing. The discharge should cease by the time the shutoff valve is fully open. After the assembly has been pressurized, vent all of the trapped air from the backflow assembly by slightly opening each of the four test cocks with a flathead screwdriver. Once all of the air has been vented, close all of the test cocks. Slowly and slightly open the downstream shutoff valve until the system is pressurized. It may take some time to completely pressurize the system. Once the system is completely pressurized, open the shutoff valve the rest of the way. Your 975XL2 backflow preventer is now in service. After the 975XL2 has been properly installed, test the assembly as outlined in the 975XL2 manual. Thanks for installing your 975XL2 pressure reducing valve with us today. We hope you found this tutorial useful. If you need additional guidance, you can always reach out to our expert team for support. And check out our huge library of other installation and troubleshooting videos on our YouTube channel.